Alright, this is my little project I'm working on for the next few days. Um, this is a Honda GX160 cylinder head. Um, and um, I'm going to put it on GX200 clone that's on the go kart. You can see there. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because it will increase compression, which will give me more horsepower. But before I do that, I'm going to have to uh, clean the head up and through the uh, intake uh, channel is uh, corroded, so I have to clean that up. I'm going to first try uh, running water through it with the hose, and um, if that doesn't clean it, I'm going to use um, a tubing uh, brush. So, uh, so I'm going to try to clean this thing and then I'll start filming again. Okay, um, ran some water through the intake port. Didn't really help, so I'm working it with a file. And, uh, I should clean it out. Alright, uh, it's now I'm done filing. I'm going to clean out all the um, bits of corrosion that are left in there. Thank you. 
you just stick that kind of dark. But now that all the bolts are out, you can pull the cylinder out. As you can see, there's a lot of carbon buildup on the piston, so I'm going to clean that off. Not sure how well you'll be able to see, but I pulled the cylinder head off now. And I have it on my bench. Um, it's very windy and rainy outside, so I closed the door. So now we will start to disassemble the valve train. First, we'll take off the rockers. The smaller uh, lock nut is a 10 millimeter, and the larger one is a 14 millimeter. Okay, now I have the valve train disassembled, both the rockers off and the nuts and the lash caps. So, how do you remove how you remove the retainers? Push down. Not sure if you could see. And then slide it into the little the valve stem into a little groove. I'll show you right now. Just like that. Push it and it pops up. That releases the spring and the retainer. Make sure you put these on the same valve they came off of. Okay, right now I have the cylinder head fully disassembled. Both valves are out. So set the cylinder head aside. And then bring in our Honda. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is put your valves in. Remember which valve goes where. So first we'll put in the exhaust. The spring and the retainer. Now the valves are in the springs. Now we can assemble the rockers. I'm going to be lapping the valves now. Got my grinding compound, coarse and fine. And my valve lapping tool, a little suction cup on the end. I've already put the intake valve on it. Now, how you uh, lap the valves, you start with your coarse grinding compound. You put some all around the valve seat and a little bit on the valve where it makes contact with the seat. And you put the valve in the hole and spin it in between the palms of your hands for about five minutes until it's nice and smooth. Then you wash off all the grinding compound and do that again with the fine compound. So I'm going to do that now. I've applied my coarse grinding compound to the valve seat and the valve. Now I'm going to finished grinding with the coarse compound. As you can see, the valve seats are shiny, and so are the edges of the valve. Need to clean them off a little bit better, there you can see very well. So now I'm going to grind it with the fine compound. Okay, now that we have both the valves lapped and seated, we can begin to reassemble the valve train. So first, put the intake valve in. It helps a lot if you keep all your valve train stuff in a 
small bag. So I'm going to put the spring and keeper on.